beautiful day out here at Thornton Beach, which is in Daly City, just south of San Francisco. Um, it's kind of cool and breezy, but comfortable. And today I'm looking around for cypress trees to paint. I was just thinking that when I was a kid, one of my favorite books was a uh, Dr. Seuss book called Go Dog Go. And um, I love the artwork in that book, which was done by P.D. Eastman. And um, so anyway, but in that book, there's a lot of trees and most of them I think are inspired by cypress trees. So I don't know where, if that's where I got my original appreciation for cypress, but I just think the irregular shapes are super interesting. And uh, so today I'm looking around trying to find some trees that have like the ocean as a backdrop. So we'll see what I can find. I think fall and winter are my favorite times to paint in the Bay Area. Um, if there's not a storm coming through, usually it's sunny and clear and, um, you know, not too cold. The other thing that's nice about this time of year is that the, the shadows are really great because the sun is lower in the sky so you've got longer shadows to work with. Most of the cypress trees along the coast here are sort of windswept because there's like a constant northwest wind that blows onshore. So the trees tend to grow uh, in a slanted fashion. Okay, I see a good example of a Dr. Seuss tree here. I would paint this, but unfortunately the background is not that interesting. Okay, so I've walked around to the other side of the trees, but I think I like the light on the other side better. So loading my palette on my tailgate as usual. I keep a plastic bin full of my paints in the trunk and then just load up uh, before I head to my painting spot. Looks like some fog is blowing in, so I'm gonna really work quickly, and uh, which is good anyway. Gets a lot of energy in the brushwork. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna set up and get to work. All right, so I probably have about 20 minutes at best before the fog comes in and changes the scene. Actually, it's already starting to change it. Um, so right here, I've got the, this is kind of the beach right down here with waves like this. And there's kind of like a cliff here and like a little trail. And I'm keeping my horizon, you know, off of the center line. It's actually, in reality, it's pretty close to the center line, but I'm kind of bumping, bumping it up a little bit. And I'm gonna put, there's some land back there. I'm gonna put some land. Uh, this is like the Marin Headlands. It's in fog, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in anyway. This is ultramarine and alizarin crimson, just kind of indicating the dark shadow areas. Mostly just using ultramarine for the sky. There's uh, the Marin Headlands back there. It's maybe a little bit too... It's a little too dark. I'll light them up a little bit. So I've lost the light and I'm just going by memory at this point, which is one of the challenges of plein air. That's why we love it. Never a dull moment. Thank you. 
So unfortunately the fog came in really quickly um, and then my battery died of course. And I was, you know, definitely struggling there trying to figure out, you know, what I wanted to do because the scene had changed completely. Um, so, but I just kept going and I thought, you know, I'll just include you guys in the process and show you that, you know, it could definitely be a struggle out here. Um, I'll show you what I came up with. Okay, so I kind of like the composition and I'll definitely come back to this spot. Sometimes I've got to paint a scene a couple times to kind of figure out how I want to handle it. Uh, so I'm gonna go home and get some warm lunch, but uh, I'll include some of the extra footage on my Patreon channel, link down below. And then also this Saturday, October 20th, from four to 5 p.m. at Studio Gallery in San Francisco, I'll be giving an artist talk, kind of talk about the show. Um, yeah, there's 45 pieces in the show, kind of my favorite paintings from this year. And that's at uh, 1641 Pacific in San Francisco. So if you happen to be in the neighborhood, drop by, it'd be great to see you. And uh, yeah, like I say, I'll be talking about the paintings and then uh, taking questions afterwards. So um, anyway, as usual, thanks for coming along and I will see you in the next video.